Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. A unilateral proposal by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, in February 2018 to supply a further 40 SUMKI fighters to the Indian Air Force is now being seriously considered by the center, reports Livfist Defense. The plan is being seen as a solution to kill two birds with stone, on the one hand it would considerably slow down IAF's depleting squadron strength, and on the other it would also enable HAL to keep its production lines functioning for much longer and counter opposition's claims that the company has been sidelined and neglected by the center in favor of private players. The current set of SU-30 MKI jets being produced by HAL are set to be delivered within this year and Defense Minister Nirmala Sitarman announced in Parliament that several more orders were in the pipeline. The IAF isn't opposed to the idea of inducting 40 more SU-30 fighters but a section of the Air Force believes that it needs to to procuring more light fighters which are easier to service and more readily available. Another group believes that an equal number of rifle jets should be bought instead of the SU-30S. The Hindustan Aeronautics HAL, light combat helicopter has successfully destroyed a moving airborne target with the MBDA Mistral air-to-air -air missile. This is the first time such as test has taken place in India, says HAL. The company adds that the firing completes weapons testing, and that the LCH is now ready for operational service. According to the MBDA website, the Mistral ATAM for helicopters includes four ready-to-fire missiles, with two on either side of the helicopter. The weapon has an off-boresight capability with a maximum range of 6.5 km and a minimum of 500 m. The 5.8 TLCH is designed with twin tandem cockpits, a bearingless tail rotor, glass cockpit, 20 mm gun in a chin turret, 70 mm rockets, the Mistral system, and an electro-optical targeting pod. Survivability features include ballistics protection and features that minimize its visual, oral, radar, and infrared signatures. The design for the crew module and crew service module for country's first manned space mission Gaganyaan will be finalized soon says Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, Chairman. ISRO will be launching a total of 32 missions this year which will include 14 rockets, 17 satellites, and one technology demo mission. Briefing the media persons in New Delhi on Friday ISRO Chairman K. Sivan on Friday said the design work relating to the proposed manned mission is underway and will be finalized soon. A new center, Human Space Flight Center is formed and will be the lead center for the overall management and realization of this mission. Since the infrastructure is there and we have done it earlier too, soon the design for crew module which will carry the astronauts and crew service module will be finalized, he added. To a question about the selection of astronauts, the ISRO chief said that the Indian Air Force IAF, will play a major role in this and there will be other agencies involved too. India's defense export is likely to double to 10,000 rupees crore by the end of the current financial year, Secretary of Defense Production Ajay Kumar said today. He was speaking at a seminar on opportunities for defense and aeronautics in Gujarat organized as part of the ninth edition of the vibrant Gujarat Global Summit. Indian industry has been doubling the defense exports in the last three years. Three years back, total defense export from India was only about 1,500 rupees crore. Last year, the figure reached 4,500 rupees crore. This year, by November, we have done 7,500 rupees crore export, and by March we are going to cross 10,000 rupees crore, Mr. Kumar said. He said the growth in defense export was possible due to the government's reforms, which made it easier for private companies to enter the defense sector. The People's Liberation Army has constructed an underground facility, UGF, barely 50 kilometers from the India-China border, 
and just 60 kilometers from the Indian forward posts at Dumkak in Ladakh. So far, there was just one UGF in Tibet, with another one which could possibly target India being a fair way away in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. But now, thanks to satellite imagery, the print has identified a deeply buried hardened target, DBHT, under construction near the town of Angari, also known as Shikwanhi in Mandarin, which could have worried to India. Construction of this UGF began in December 2016, about six months before the Doklam standoff near the India-China-Bhutan tri-junction in the east. The slow speed of construction indicates that special personnel are being used instead of locals, clearly in order to maintain secrecy and security of the facility. एपिसोड के लिए इतना ही अगर इस वीडियो को लेकर आपको कोई सुझाव या सजेशन हो तो उसे कमेंट सेक्शन में शेयर जरूर करें अगर आपने इस वीडियो को लाइक और शेयर नहीं किया है तो इसे लाइक और शेयर करें और चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें